and we need each other. God made this community. He, 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 he built what we're doing here today. This is something that helps us. It's a help but not a hindrance. And a lot of times we think that we can do life all by ourselves. But let us fall into some traps in life and we'll realize that we need each other. We need, sometimes uh, you never know when you walk into the fellowship of, of brothers and sisters in church and, and can feel the presence of somebody else or somebody could say something uplifting to you that can help you throughout your week. We need each other. God didn't make us to be alone. And that's the biggest thing is that this is a time for us to gather together and observe God in unity. Can somebody say unity? Unity. We belong to God. So we do this out of obedience and out of love to God and to be like God. Again, on the seventh day, what did he do? God rested. So we showed us this is what you need to do. Rest it. Remember, rest will help you live a refreshed life. It'll help you live a recharged life. It will help you push forward into a new week. Every week, you've got to refuel. You've got to refresh. You've got to recharge. And that's what it's all about. Refresh, refuel, recharge. So you need a day-to-day -day rest. Uh, it can also help you refresh yourself and reconnect. It's about reconnecting because throughout the week, you're going to get a little disconnected from God. You're going to get disconnected from the path a lot of times. People, situations, challenges, they help you to disconnect. But you can get back connected when you observe this Sabbath rest. And in order to reconnect, you got to disconnect from the distractions. That may be TV. That may be phone. That may be text messages. That may be certain folk. That may be, but you got to disconnect from those things and do what? Reconnect with God and the other relationships. Again, the Christian fellowship, the brothers and sisters which will that you put around you to help you again keep that close-knit relationship with God. So I want to do a